Hi, I'm back for the second uh, tutorial on uh, the Kerbal Space Program. Hopefully you guys liked my first one. I've got a little bit of feedback and based on that I'm going to try another one. Um, there's been a lot of questions about how to dock in the forums, so I'm going to I'm going to show that. There's a lot of a lot of thought about this because 0 0.18 is going to have docking and people want to know how to do it. So, um so what have I got for you? Well, first off, I'm going to say cursor is now enabled, so when I point at things, I will actually be able to say, I am looking over here, and you'll know what I'm talking about. So I'm going to correct some of the things that I said in the first video that didn't make any sense, because when I pointed, you had no idea what I was talking about. Um, secondly, uh, hopefully the sound in the game is down a little bit, so the engine noise doesn't overwhelm everything, and uh, that was a complaint. Hopefully that's fixed. Third, um, I tried to increase the resolution. So what do we have here? We have a spacecraft. We're going to take this one up. We're going to use it as a dock. We're going to dock with another identical spacecraft that's already in orbit that I put up there. I'll show you where that is in a second. What mods am I running? Well, right now I'm running this Urkel mod. You can see there's this warp clamp, this docking clamp. This is a mod that provides docking functionality that you can use in 0 0.7, 0 0.17 version of the game. Um, doesn't have all the functionality that will be in there in version 0 0.18, but it gives you enough to practice with, for sure. Um, and I'm using MechJeb again. I'm going to use MechJeb to provide functionality for docking that doesn't exist in the game, um, but will exist in 0 0.18. So, let's go to the launch pad. And I'll start by showing you what we have in space. So right here is an existing spacecraft called Docking Tutorial, just like mine, that's on the pad. I've already put it in an orbit, and rather than put it in a perfectly circular equatorial orbit, I figured I'd make the problem a little harder so you guys could see a little more challenging um, uh, docking maneuver and uh, how you can deal with it. I, I figured if I showed you a perfectly equatorial docking orbit, um, some of the difficulties that you might encounter wouldn't be very well explained. So you can see this guy isn't exactly circular. He's pretty close, but he's a little off. He's definitely inclined. And we are here at the Kerbal Space Program launch facility, and we're going to dock with this guy. This guy's going to be like, imagine this is the ISS, this is a Falcon 9 Dragon module, and it's going to go up and resupply. And our goal is to make that happen. Now, if you're trying to dock somewhere else, like let's say this thing's orbiting the moon, you basically are going to do the same things I'm going to teach you here. You need to do the orbital tran—I mean, you need to do the transfer or um, transfer maneuver, like I showed you in the previous tutorial, if you want to do that. But once you're over here, once you've gotten the skills to take off transfer over to the other planet or moon, orbit that, then the question is how do you dock? Well, I'm going to show you how to do that and it applies equally everywhere. Um, so that's our goal. The other thing I'm going to show you is since you're playing presumably with this in 0 0.17, once you have 0 0.18 you may not need this, but one of the things you're going to want to do in MechJev is you're going to want to click here on Rendezvous Module, which I wasn't using last time and we're going to click on vessels and pick the thing we want to dock with. And after that we're going to leave this alone. This provides functionality, this provides you orbital parameters of, of relative parameters between my spacecraft and the one I'm trying to dock with. These are the orbital parameters of my spacecraft, these are the orbital parameters of the spacecraft I'm trying to dock with, and you can see my smart ass controls over here have um, some additional controls that I'm going to teach you how to use. Um, this information, at least some of this information, is in 0 0.18, enough to actually achieve docking. Um, in 0 0.17 it doesn't exist, so if I were not to use this, um, some very crucial information wouldn't be here, and doing complicated docking maneuvers would be very difficult. Okay, so um, let's, let's, let's dock. So should I launch now? Well, no, I shouldn't launch now. First thing to point out is if I launch now, I'm going to come up into orbit and he's going to be in some random position rather relative to me and then I may have to spend a lot of time catching up or spend a lot of time letting him catch up to me. Rather, uh, in a situation like this, it's better to let your Kerbin stay on the ground 
you know, have another night with their girlfriends or wives or families, um, eating their little curb and snacks, um, rather than have them spend that time in orbit trying to play catch up. So you want to wait for a good launch window. So I'm going to speed up time. And we're going to want this spacecraft to get around over here somewhere so that it's passing us by as I'm boosting to orbit. And we're basically trying to, trying to meet up with it as that occurs. So you don't, you don't have to do this exactly, but it does make your life easier. You might as well do that stuff on the ground. So that's reasonable. That's a reasonable location. Um, so we're going to launch while this spacecraft is here. And when we achieve orbit, hopefully it'll be right in here somewhere. And we'll have an easier rendezvous uh, maneuver. Okay, now what, um, what are we going to try to do to match this spacecraft? Well, you can see, if we go over to this window, the orbital parameters of the spacecraft I'm trying to dock with, um, it has an apoapsis of 108 kilometers and a periapsis of 99 kilometers. So like I said, not perfectly circular, but not too bad. We're going to... Um, we're going to want an orbit that's either slightly higher or slightly lower on average than this to either speed up or slow down, actually invert that from the way I said it, um, to uh, achieve the docking. I'll show you what I mean when we get there. Um, and of course, look at these inclinations. We're at zero degrees and it's at 19 degrees. So we're going to have to deal with that as well. But first things first, let's get ourselves to orbit. So um, we'll start. And we will manually fly ourselves to orbit, just like we did last time. And given that I've shown you how to achieve orbit, I'm going to pause this, and uh, when we're closer to orbit, I'll come back. Alright, I'm back, and um, you can see we're climbing to our apoapsis right now of 91 kilometers. And if we look at the map, you can see we're on this ballistic trajectory. Um, approaching this 91 kilometer apoapsis and the other spacecraft has uh, been moving along its orbit and you can see it's probably gonna pass us before we reach it and that's alright I'm actually gonna put us in a parking orbit about 104 kilometers because I don't really want to speed up or slow down relative to this thing until I fix my inclination um, so I kinda wanna be matching its speed just be offset in inclination with it so we're going to finish our orbital insertion here, and then we will proceed. Shut that a little bit, so let's just fix that. Bring that down to under four. And you can see we have. So remember last time I was talking about this, but unfortunately I wasn't pointing because my mouse wasn't showing, so I couldn't talk about it. So this is what I meant. I don't need to look at the map if I'm using MechJeb's orbital information. I can see my apoapsis right there, 104. My periapsis is 15. So um, when I reach my apoapsis, I want to burn and make that 104 as well, circulate my orbit. You can see right here it shows me my time to apoapsis, which is 160 seconds. So in a couple minutes, I'll be ready to make that burn, and I'll have a nice circular orbit. Now, before that occurs, let's look at our map. So my spacecraft is here. The spacecraft I'm trying to dock with is here. The next thing we're going to need to do is change our inclination so we match that spacecraft's inclination. We could have actually done some of that on our launch, but I kind of wanted to show you how to do it once we're actually in orbit. Um, but it would have been possible if we had launched and burned, instead of due east, we had burned south of east. Um, we would have started making our inclination that 
in this direction. It wouldn't have been exactly right, but it would have been in the right direction.